Hey guys, Sonic Smash from here, and this is not just a video I wanted to make, but this is what I feel like I have to make. Because this is very much a big issue that we're dealing with right here. And fair warning, there's going to be some major language. Today's April 3rd, 2018, as I'm recording this on a Tuesday morning, and I just woke up to some really rough news. Rough, as in, this is definitely what I did not want to fucking hear about first thing in the morning. Anyway. For those not in the know, Mortal Regional just concluded for Street Fighter V this past weekend, for anyone who watched that. I personally did not. But anyway, there was quite an infamous set off stream Go One Minot versus Meta RD with Abigail. Yes, Abigail, and not his actual main. For those not in the know, he's a birdie player. Anyway, speaking about Meta RD, just to give you guys a little bit of information, he was the Capcom Cup 2017 champion who bested Takedo and reset the bracket in a grand final that was quite intense, to say the least. But that's not the point. Anyway, throughout that set, Kamba, Mena's longtime friend and good teammate as it were, at least I think it's his teammate, was cheering him on behind both players. And Go One was clearly getting irritated, and I think it was motioning him or something like that to keep it down or something like that. I'm not sure. Point is, though, he could have addressed the issue right then and there. He could have asked Mena to speak to him and they could work things out like civil gentlemen. But no. What ended up fucking happening was he went to Twitter and mentioned all this stuff behind his, in their backs and not face to face. Face to face while they were at that fucking tournament. That was the perfect opportunity to say something and he didn't take it. I understand that. Go one was irritated, because, well, duh, it's a tournament. But you could have very easily addressed the issue. You could have asked Mena RD to talk to him and work something out, or you could have asked for headphones from one of the other players. Hell, in this day and age of the tournaments, why don't you have headphones? But that's not the point. I do understand where Go one was coming from. But it is a tournament, people should not be distracting the players, intentionally or not. And it was definitely unintentional, I get it. But, at the same time, that does not give you a reason to be doing that without knowledge that the other person has headphones or something like that. If you can tell that people are getting annoyed, you should start to realize that, okay, maybe I should either keep it down, move further back, or just stop altogether. So, I get where both sides are coming from. But this is where it gets worse. Then the fan base comes in, and they start making racist fucking comments instead of looking at it from both sides and discussing it amongst each other like civil gentlemen and civil fans they go and not only make racist comments to insult mena rd but his entire home of the dominican republic what the fuck people i'm sorry that kind of shit just pisses me off to no fucking end and Fair warning, this triggers me more than Ruby Volume 3 shit, and I hate that fucking volume with a passion. But that's not the point. Point is, why are people making racist fucking comments about a really nice man and a really good player? Now, I will fully admit, both are really good players. Go Warrant is a very impressive Minot, from what I've heard anyway. And Meta RD, if a dude could cap Cup Cup with Birdie, the man can get results. Like, what the actual hell, though? You go and fucking make this kind of racist bullshit comments, as opposed to being, you know, civil about it and looking at things from both sides of the coin. God, what the fuck is wrong with people? I am a white man, okay? I am a fucking white man, and this racist shit makes me sick. Ugh. Like, no fucking joke. It's this kind of shit. That makes me question what humanity really believes in. This kind of racist bullshit should be considered illegal worldwide in this day and age. I'm sorry, but if you're going to do this kind of shit, you really, really have something wrong with you. And let me put it to you this way. If you're not only going so far as to insult a man for his color, but you're also willing to insult his home, his pride and joy, you clearly have no fucking soul. I'm sorry. 
Again, I understand where Gowen was coming from, but that does not give his fan base excuse to make racist comments, and he did not, not at all encourage that. From what I'm aware, anyway, he definitely did not encourage that. In fact, I don't think he ever would encourage that shit, because even as a player of a different country, you still have to respect other people. Skin color, sexuality, no one gives a fuck what you have. I don't give a fuck what your race is. I don't give a fuck, fuck about your sexuality, your religion. You do what you want to do. That's fine by me. Because at the end of the day, we are all human beings. Clean and fucking simple. We are all human beings at the end of the day. And race, sexuality, gender, none of that makes a fucking difference. But here's where it gets even more insane. This got so out of hand that Mena RD recently said that he might be leaving the FGC because of this shit. And I definitely understand where he's coming from. I hope he doesn't, because the man is not only respectable as a human being, but respectable as a player. Strike that, reverse it, but that's not the point. Point of the matter is that you are willing to go this far to the because of this kind of shit. And I definitely understand that. Even I would be going that far if someone were to fucking do that. But, look at it this way. It's these kinds of people that are the dark side of the FGC. There are definitely people that give me hope for humanity. Alex Myers in particular. Well, Alex Myers, Takedo, Mena RD himself. There's just a lot of really great people in the FGC. But when you get people doing shit like this, I'm sorry, but that's just fucking no. Ugh. Not to mention the fact that, again, they could have fucking just discussed this shit like civil human beings. But no, you have to be going that far to throw down all these fucking bullshit insults to the point of racism. And again, white, black, male, female, Christian, Muslim? What the fuck does it matter? We're all human in the end. Just, what the actual fuck? I'm sorry, but this kind of shit really pisses me off. Oh, and again, it's like I said earlier, I hate Ruby Volume 3 with a passion, and this gets me triggered worse. Because this not only hits that individual person, but it can affect an entire community. And... The FGC, at this point, has really been in a rough spot, to say the least. And if Mena RD does leave, this will make the second player to leave, to my knowledge, in 2018. And this is only pretty much the first third end of the year. For those wondering who the other one was, it was Mike Ross, a really good e Honda player from SF4, but that's beside the point. The point of the matter is, this kind of shit is not only... Ridiculous? It is fucking inhuman, and this racist bullshit should be considered illegal. I'm sorry. Especially in a tournament setting where you have to respect other people and their characters, and more importantly, you have to respect the people as people. This kind of ridicule, this kind of bullshit, black. And it got to the point where Meta is thinking about leaving the FGC? That's when you know something's wrong. Now, Kala did apologize, but not in the best way possible, I'll give you guys that. It still doesn't excuse the fact that he was doing that and annoying go one, but he could have fucking addressed the situation then and there. I get that. Just, why the actual fuck are people doing this kind of shit? This is the kind of reason why I question humanity a lot of the time. Again, there are some really good people out there. Alex Myers, Takeda, and Arnie himself, Knuckle Deuce, Hey Guys, there's a lot of really good people. But when you do shit like this to basically have them draw the last straw, this pisses me off. Mena RD, if you are able to hear this and you understand what I'm saying, I hope you don't leave because let's put it to you, let me put it to you this way. If you quit, you're just letting the trolls win. And go one, if you're reading this, if, well, if you're hearing this, I should say, not reading, what the hell am I saying? And you can understand me, address your fucking fan base because it's getting out of hand. 
that's all I can really say. So with that out of the way, later guys.